Are you looking for effective column cleaning tips? Hi, my name is Bhaskar Napte and as a part of this video, we are going to talk about the very simple but effective column cleaning tips, especially for reverse phase liquid chromatography. The first and foremost, it is very important to make sure that you follow the manufacturer's recommended cleaning procedure. It has always been proved and said that the 10 to 20 column volume of each cleaning solvent can be used during the cleaning process. Now for the generic reverse phase column and in case if you do not have the manufacturer's recommended cleaning procedures, you can use the washing solvent in the below sequence. First one is water. So you want to start with the water to remove all your polar impurities or the polarized compounds that can be removed with the help of water followed by methanol then acetonitrile ipa the heptane and ipa can be used in case if there are highly retained non-polar impurities present into the column you know the nature of the sample and based on to that the heptane can be also added now ipa is used because it is the miscible organic solvent right the acn is not soluble with the heptane so you have to use the IPA in between. Then again you continue the column washing with the IPA and followed by ACN. It is always a good idea to use the acidic uh, mobile phase like uh, ACN with 0.1% formic acid followed by methanol and finally you have to store the reverse phase liquid chromatography column into the organic solvent and water ratio maybe like uh, water 20 and methanol 80. In case if you are using the column for protein analysis and in case if your flow got completely blocked because of the usage of the column for a longer time, the urea solution of around 5 to 10 molar can certainly help you to denature the proteins you know, deposited onto the column and then the flow can get restored. Once you Conduct the washing with the urea, followed by you can use the acidified methanol water or SN water. You can use acetic acid or formic acid to acidify the mobile phase. The third important, uh, you know, the effective cleansing agent can be EDTA. Especially in case if you have a doubt that your column might have got contaminated with the metal ions. So EDTA can form the complex with the metal ions and that metal ions can get removed out of the column. So once you do this process, afterwards you must wash your column thoroughly with the water so that the EDTA will also get washed out of the column. And then followed by you can think about whether you need to continue the process with the organic solvent or you need to go with the storage of the uh, uh, column. It is very important to note that the IPA is an excellent solvent for intermediate steps because it is miscible with organic solvent such as hexane, heptane and also miscible with the organic solvent, uh, sorry the aqueous solution. The important note, it is recommended to reverse the direction of the flow during column cleaning so that contaminants do not need to pass through the entire length of the column. So it has been always said that whatever contaminants are going to be only present on the frit of your column inlet. So your column always get contaminated on to the inlet side and not to the outlet side. So once you pass the column flow from outlet side, isn't it? So whatever contaminants are present on to the tip of inlet is going to get removed with a shorter distance so those contaminants will not travel across the entire column length but it is very important to note that the manufacturer's direction onto the reverse the column must be considered and the number of column volumes and time required for each cleaning step may vary according to the degree of contamination so this is the simple these are the few simple tips on column cleaning Thank you so much.